Hey everyone, it's McGuire, Brennan. It is January 3rd, 2024, and if you're following along, you probably already know I'm creating a startup. And that startup's goal is to make learning engaging and fun. And I'm chronicling every bit of that journey here, and this is my first major update. So if you're creating a startup, or you're scaling a startup, or you're just watching for pure entertainment value, you're probably asking yourselves the same question. Why is McGuire creating an entire video about Abraham Maslow? The answer is, I'm not creating an entire video about Abraham Maslow. Introducing McGuire's hierarchy of needs. It's exactly like Maslow's, except it's very different. 14 second crash course on Maslow. So Maslow's hierarchy of needs basically says we prioritize needs like food and water and safety before we can get to things like achievement or creative expression. In other words, stuff on the top of the pyramid is pretty hard if you don't have the base of the pyramid figured out. But that's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. What about McGuire's hierarchy of needs? Well, at the very base, I have what's most important to me, at least in terms of this business, which is a really clear mission. So it has to have something that has a really clearly defined purpose, it has to align with my values. And in this case, there's two that I wanna point out right here for me. I wanna make sure it's something I'm uniquely qualified to doing. So my company's mission is to make learning engaging and fun. I do feel like I'm uniquely qualified to do that. And it aligns with the market because my focus is on software and AI. So I'm talking about something that's on its ascendancy rather than something that's on its descendancy. And if you look at something like investing in typewriters in the 1980s, clearly on the descendancy, uh, whereas something on the ascendancy would be like investing in Webflow in 2013. So that's my startup's mission, and that's at the very core. If I don't have the mission figured out, who cares what focus and studio and uh, impact, it's just not gonna be there. Start with the base. On top of that, I have to stack space and time. And for me, that means an actual place to do work, to focus, uh, to interface with people when I want to and need to, uh, but of course, to have that pure focus time. So I put a couple examples here, homework space, co-working space, cafe, Chipotle, classic. Um, but that's space and time. And the output from those things, for me, during this space and time, is to really, really crank out that business plan, to get early feedback from the people that are closest to me, to get feedback from those of you who are watching this and leaving comments or writing out to me. Thank you so much to everyone who's been reaching out with so much support, so many ideas, love it. Uh, and of course, this phase is all about iteration, constantly iterating, nonstop. Up next is love and support. Of course, this is really essential. Once I've figured out that mission and once I've taken that space and time, it's really about dialing it up. And there's four sources for that love and support. For me, it's the community. It's those of you who are watching this right now and those who are really supporting what I'm aiming to do. Uh, two is advisors. These are people that I know now that are really close to me, brilliant, awesome people, uh, and people that I haven't met yet that are gonna give really great advice to help steer the direction of this and help inform me so that I can make smarter decisions. And of course, coaching. I have the best coach, best exec coach in the history of time. Nancy, if you're watching this, thank you for everything. And this will be submitted by 1159 tonight. It'll be done local time. Okay. East Eastern time. That's new. Uh, and of course, investors, not just for capital, but for the right connections, the right advice, the right guidance. So those are some of those inputs. And from those people, it's feedback, it's cheering, it's guidance. I just said that it's accountability. All those things are important. Once this is figured out, then I can focus on the studio. And you can see right here, this is already being planned, but it's not a primary focus right now because I need these needs met first. But when I get to that, we'll talk all about it. And if you're really wanting to nerd out on some of the equipment details, the building, the construction details, the design details, we will talk about all of it. Then once that's done, I can focus on the actual production. And that is writing and producing and editing and actually launching, getting the education materials that I'm creating, that my team's creating and getting them out to the world. And through all of this, then I can focus on impact. So that's creating value, not just monetary value, but value to human beings that really care about some of the stuff, hopefully, that I'm teaching. And it's going to be much better because I've gotten the feedback, the guidance, the cheering, the accountability from those of you who are watching this, but tons of other people who I haven't met yet. So I'm very, very excited about that journey. So what does all of this have to do with my January 3rd, 2024 update? It's a good question. Let's go back to the hierarchy. I feel pretty good about the mission, which leads us to space and time, specifically home workspace. This MacBook Air that I'm recording everything on is placed upon a box of Windex, which is placed upon a box of trash bags. And it's all precariously balancing in such a way that if I move this poster board, which has a foam backing in just the wrong way, it's likely the MacBook Air will become not a functional MacBook Air anymore. So 
This hierarchy has taught me one thing, and this is just mine. I do better here when I've figured this out. I do better here when I figure this out and so on. That's the goal with this. By understanding what my needs are to get to that next level, I'm able to really focus on the things, the task at hand, the things that matter most in that moment before I try to jump in to something like focus and, and impact at that level. I'm always gonna be thinking of these things, but it's really important to me that I take care of the essentials in the right order and I learn from those uh, mistakes that I make in each of these phases before I jump into a very expensive thing. If I go straight into production and I haven't figured out the basics, I'm going to have very costly mistakes here. It's going to cost more, not just in terms of money, but in terms of time. And that's the big takeaway. For me, my hierarchy has six levels. Yours might have 14. Yours might have three. That's okay. This is what works for me. And it's just 1.0. We will revisit this, I'm sure, again. But that's my hierarchy of needs. That's my update on the current status of no home workspace whatsoever. And by the time we talk on Saturday, I'm looking forward to sharing a pretty big update. Actually, a few pretty big updates. So thanks to everyone for reaching out. Uh, if you've reached out so far, it's meant the world to me. Uh, thanks for your support and uh, looking forward to continuing to share uh, some of my learnings along this startup journey. Thanks, everybody.